felt very underappreciated. Mm -hmm. We still feel underappreciated, but that's just the way we are. Uh, a big difference is Australia has gone out of its way to improve the pay of researchers and to put more money into research because in the end, the politicians have been convinced that that will make the country money in the future. One of the interesting things about Australia is we are exporting huge amounts of commodities to China. But the reason we're able to do that is because our mining industry is the most efficient in the world and it is the most technologically advanced in the, in the world. So an Australian mining operation is typically almost a factor of two more efficient than an American mining operation. And that's because we've done lots of technological advancements. And I think for researchers and scientists to be appreciated, there are a number of things that have to happen. The main thing is it has to become a priority of government. And you do need to have structural reform in terms of, in Italy, for example, how, for example, jobs would be determined from here on out, I think. This is one of the things that's happened in Australia as well. You need to make sure that you choose the best person for the job rather than getting jobs to people who happen to know people, which is a feature, I think, of a lot of Italian science uh, positions of the past from my looking from the outside. Uh, so there's a cultural change required as part of it. Um, I'm not saying it's all bad, I'm saying that there has aspects like that. Of it. But in the end, if the government says science is really important and we want to be excellent in science, then it's going to have to spend more money on science and on universities and on satellites. And naturally, people will come to it. It's very easy for a government to make science uh, uh, sexy or important. They just put money into it. And it naturally causes it to happen. It does. Go to Germany. Everyone and their dog wants to get a PhD in Germany because you get paid 100,000 euros with a PhD. And if you don't have a PhD, you don't. So everyone wants to get one. Every, being a scientist is very important in Germany. So it would take a major concerted effort by the Italian government. The challenge, of course, is that the Italian government is in debt, and it's and the population of Italy uh, is used to certain things of money being spent on, which the rest of, you know, which are, are you know, not necessarily, which were very expensive, and hard to change. So, for example, 35% of uh, people are on public, are on work for the government one way or another in Italy, mm -hmm. including uh, professors. Yes. But then you have, uh, especially in the past, what's the retirement age for women in Italy? It was 60, now it's really increasing to age 65. Right. So, so that is a, an inefficiency. So, First of all, women live a long time. Secondly, uh, you're, making, you're, you're getting to retire at 60 rather than 65, or in Germany at 67 or 68. Um, and so that's expensive. So you're, you know, compared to Germany, where women are retiring at 67, perhaps, uh, you've got 25% you got of their lives is spent getting a pension rather than producing for the country. That's expensive for the country. And it means you don't have the money to spend on the science. So it's a huge structural reform of the Italian economy to make it happen. But you know, if they were to move everyone's pension to 67, tomorrow there will be riots in the street. No, no, no. We are going to this. Uh, Slowly. Well, we are close. You're getting there. Right? I'm boring. I'm boring. We are boring. We are boring. <laughs> I understand, but the point being is, is that you have to look. And, and the other part of the Italian economy is, let's face it, there's a very large, you're not, your government isn't very efficient at collecting taxes from people who do not work for it. So if you are Massimo, you pay your taxes because the government takes them out when you work. 
but if you happen to be whoever down the street there, chances are you probably don't pay the full allotment of taxes. So that's a structural reform that makes it difficult to pay for things like signs. And those all have to be done because ultimately governments do more or less have to be solved. So it's a problem.